Well, folks, it's another build vlog. Um, I'm really excited by this one. I've got to be honest with you, the reason I ended up finding Angel Wing Designs in the first place was that one of their flying wings caught my eye. Then, having built the bug and the damn it, um, I got talking to Andy and he said that they'd got their uh, for, for F. VT3 Prandtl flying wing. So, if you don't know anything about Prandtl, I'm literally a rank amateur, and your best bet is to go and research Prandtl theory on YouTube. It's just turned up as a hang glider, active hang glider pilot. I'm very excited by this. This has been designed by Marco Stanovic. Hopefully, I got that right, and I'll keep saying Marco Stanovic. There you go, Marko Stanovic. That rolls off the tongue. It's Marco's design. Uh, Andy's put it together uh, using the Prandtl lift theory. Um, so I'm going to do a build thread. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, let's open the box and let's see what's inside. So what have we got? Let's just have a little look here. So superbly packed as always uh, and a good job actually because I did notice it had got mullered by the uh, postman and that's exactly where the packaging was so well done everybody at Angel Wing all right so let me just put that on there and let's see what we've got so This, as I understand it, that's the ballast for the nose. Um, oh. So I mean, it's just like, it's a simple little things. You know, could have just chucked the, the, the stickers in and stuff like that, but actually put a bit of cardboard around them and a little bit of um, snap wrap around it. One pack. There we go. Right. So I'm going to get this all out the bag, and then um, I'll show you what's involved. Okay, so uh, there's two packs. Um, this is a fairly thick hardwood pack, and this is going to be the the wing trestle. I think it's the only word, or the wing jig. I think yeah, wing jig. Let's call it wing jig. So we've got the wing jig here. This is your first pack. So that gives you some idea of what's in there, and then we have the second pack has I'm just going to double up anywhere because I might run out of space on the bench but I'm just doing this so that you can actually check your own kit and there is copious amounts of sheeting to go with it oh tell a light there's a copious amount of more ribs so there's plenty of sheeting as you would expect looking at the pictures and this is the second pack um, so just give you some idea of uh, what should be in the kit okay so first thing we're going to do this isn't a conventional design where we're going to be actually making this on the bench we are going to be making it on the bench but we're going to be making it on a special jig and some of the structure has to be overhanging of the actual um, jig or the actual table that we're working on so i'm not going to be doing it directly down on the bench what i'm going to do is following the pictures on the build 
pictures I was sent I have this piece of basically it's a scrap bit of board I'm going to mark myself up some center lines and the first thing we're looking for is you're looking for this and that and the first project is we're going to be making the jig to right, build the these way. are the five pieces you're going to need to start off with um, I have just gone round and made sure that I've just taken off any of the little spikes left over from the laser cutting um, we are going to glue these together like so and um, that one goes on there this goes on here make sure you get the notches around the right way now other little tip is get a steel rule and just actually run that along the bottom so that you end up getting them absolutely spot on because this is critical getting this right is critical to making the aircraft wing uh, work properly so basically that's how I'm going to glue those together this bit I'm just going to use a bit of super glue and then I'm going to do the same on here making sure I've got all these edges and it's all nice and square okay so this is a one of these shelves which I have sort of shelving unit you can buy I think they're coated in what they call melanin or something so it is 44 inches long or 112 centimeters and it is 30 centimeters wide or a foot wide so what I've done the largest of the jig runners is going to sit at the back so we need to get this absolutely square so let me show you what I've done I found the center of the board found the center of the board I measured up 60 millimeters six centimeters and I ran a line along here so I made sure that this was nice and square use a set square went across there then I then got my spar the rear spar I sat it along that line and actually held it with a bit of tape in position and then mark the centers of every slot made sure I was dead bang in the middle of every slot then having done that I then got my set square and I've run up here and drawn a line on all those now having done that I'm now going to add these like so now so I'm just building up the frame something of importance number one's fit fine number two's fit fine slightly odd with the number threes now <clears throat> if you look at that <clears throat> if you look at that Now watch what happens again if you find that your frame your jig has a curve so it runs out to the outside this is the thing to check so this is the importance of having those lines to make sure that you get these around the right way right there is my jig basically set up on the bench um, I've just located everywhere and as many places as possible without distorting the jig I've just used some blue tack just warmed it up my hands got it nice and soft and I've just located the other thing I've done is is just making sure that um, everything is nice and square across here like so and everything's hunky dory um, so now the next step is I'm just going to use um, hot glue gum you can use epoxy you could just 
keep to the um, blue tack if you wanted to. I personally, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue just in certain areas to keep it locked down on this frame. When I'm happy, then I'm just going to drop a little bit of super glue or cyano just in these corners. Um, you don't want anything on these edges here because this is part of the building edges. So no glue on here whatsoever. So you're just going to need to be careful with something around here. But I'm just literally just going to dab a little bit of super glue on all these joints. We're done. We're ready for the build. One last tip. You notice this is the front of the wing. This is going to be the trailing edge. You may be looking at this at the moment and say, crikey, it's nearly hanging off the back. It has to because part of the rear of the wing to accommodate with the tail and the reflex that's in the back, you're going to be coming over the end of the bench. So this is done specifically. One little tip possibly I'd say when I've done mine. Um, I've got mine at 60 millimetres. You could have gone 65. I mean, my frame is just hanging off. Possibly the last one is hanging right off the end. Um, so you want to go a little bit safer, say 65. But that's it. Jig done. Ready to go.